Hello and welcome to a new episode of Airport CEO here on Bongo Plains, where we are continuing with our new airport project where we are trying to recreate Berlin Tegel Airport. We will be working a little bit on some uh, small satellite terminals. They're not really satellite terminals. They're a little bit inspired by what Geneva Airport is doing on their airfield. But the main focus on today's episode will actually be on the land side. Before we get started with the episode, if you end up enjoying this video, don't forget to smash the like button, that really helps us out. And if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? Geneva Airport has um, basically, well, technically, I guess they have two terminals, but in reality, they have one terminal. And then they have these small buildings on their airfield. I'll try to show you a Google image of how that looks. These small buildings are connected via tunnels to the main building and that is basically what I will try to do a little bit here um, to help me out with some of the remote stands because you need these bus stops um, to serve your remote stands and that requires a lot of space but as my main terminal building is entirely surrounded by stands I don't really have the possibility to actually place them at my main terminal so that's why I need to do that at small remote buildings. And at the real airport in Berlin Tegel, there are actually also small remote buildings um, all around basically the terminals. Now, I know that most of them are either for cargo or for ground service equipment, and they're not really used for boarding passengers. But I think we can just, you know, take it as an inspiration um, that there are these buildings in real life and we also have them now we're just using them for a slightly different operation so yeah of course this won't be a 100% accurate uh, recreation of Berlin Tegel but we will be inspired by the airport we will take elements from the real airport try to apply them in the game as good as possible and also take uh, inspiration from other airports as I mentioned for example from Geneva Airport stuff that can work in real life and see if we can apply it here to help us out in trying to build Berlin Tegel so that it in the end also works. I mean, that's the whole point. We can build everything we want, but if it's not functional, then it's not really fun, is it? So we want to try to make all this, but also that it will be working in the end. All right, but the main focus of today's episode is actually more on the land side of the airport. Basically at Terminal, I think it's called Terminal 1 or Terminal A or whatever, but the main historic terminal of uh, Berlin Tegel, there is like a square in the middle of that where you have basically all the access roads going into. You have uh, the drop-off zones for, for passengers coming, arriving by car, of course taxis and buses and public transport and so on. So that's basically what we would want to try to recreate. So we have already the terminal building surrounding this area and we will actually also have I'm not quite sure if you already did that in last episode, I think so, on floor one, um, basically connecting it across so that we have actually a complete building surrounding it, but we still have the access on ground floor with the road. Here in the center of the square, we will have bus stops, we will have taxi stops and even some parking. And we also have a little building in the middle and that is very much inspired by um, the real airport as well. There is this construction in the middle. I've never really went over there, so I'm actually not quite sure what is actually inside that building. I think it is car rental, but I'm not sure. If you are from Berlin or if you've been to Berlin Tegel and you know what is actually inside this center uh, construction that is there in the middle of the square let me know it might also just be there for commercials because i'm pretty sure i talked with an airport staffer there who mentioned something that it was like one of the most um lucrative uh, places for having advertising at the airport it was apparently a place where the airport was making quite a lot of money from but if there's actually in some something inside this building i'm not quite sure um i've been struggling for quite a long time to actually figure out what i want to apply there in the end but um actually today i had an epiphany what i want to do but i won't be spoiling it for now uh, especially also because I haven't really taken that into account in the next couple of videos where I have already recorded the gameplay. Um, but as soon as we're basically catching up with where I am already in the construction and the episodes that I'm releasing, um, then I will start working on that. 
The next part we then also will be working on today here is actually the whole access area, both for Terminal 1. I don't know if it's called Terminal 1 or Terminal A or B or whatever. I'll just call it Terminal 1, which is the circular building, and then Terminal 2, which is the newer one. But we will work on the access for that. Uh, we will actually have to cross underneath some taxiways. And of course, also in front of Terminal 2, we will have to have some bus stops, taxi stops and car stops. And um, it's all in real life really condensed together. So they're really using pretty much every square meter of land around that area. And um, we will actually be doing the same because we don't have much space to uh, give away here um, because we are pretty much using up all the land that is available in the game. Um, but we want to have all these uh, facilities obviously for the airport so that people can arrive to the airport. And of course, we also need to make sure that there are footpaths or walkways uh, around all this area so that people can not just arrive to the uh, car stops, taxi stops and bus stops, but also from there walk over to the terminal. And we should, of course, also apply something that we learned from our previous airport. And that is, of course, that the game logic doesn't understand that you could have multiple terminals and people would have to arrive at a specific terminal. Um, so in the last gameplay we found out of course that very painfully because we had a lot of issues with people arriving at the supposedly wrong area around the airport. So what we actually will also have to do, which I haven't done here yet because I actually recorded this before I found out in my last airport, um, is that we need to make also a tunnel for people so they can walk from one side of the airport to the other side of the airport if they should need to do so. So that's one thing I need to tick off uh, or put, basic, not tick off, put on my to-do list for future gameplay that I still need to record. Something else that of course needs to be going through tunnels, as I mentioned, are the access roads uh, leading to the terminals because we need to cross um, the taxiways that are surrounding our terminals. So the only way we can get people actually arriving to the terminals is by leading them through a tunnel which will pass underneath these taxiways. We'll probably also have to do some tunneling for our um, service roads at some point I would imagine but we will see that in the future but for now we would have two tunnels uh, one uh, giving access to the terminal one area and one tunnel giving access to the terminal two area and what we then also need to do is we need to make a connection tunnel that is something we would do in a future episode a connection tunnel from terminal one to terminal two so that passengers can walk from one terminal to the other um, and uh, yeah, and thereby relieving all the issues we could have with people not being able to go from one side to the other of the airport. And yeah, so while Terminal 1 has this uh, square where we have basically fitted most of the stops for cars, taxis and buses, Terminal 2 has a little square in front of it where taxis can drop off passengers and bus can, buses can arrive and um, cars can be parked. So we will of course also be doing uh, that here. Um, placing a few bus stops and some taxi stops and some car stops so that we have yeah I mean again it's it obviously it looks different in real life it is grid based this game and that just means there's a lot of things we can't make um, but we can at least try to recreate the layout and that's the whole point that we're trying to do here so yeah, it took me a little while to figure out how I exactly wanted to have this uh, layout here with uh, mainly car parks, uh, car parks, <laughs> car stops, um, yeah, car parks is, I don't think that is in the game. That would actually be lovely to have that. Maybe it is in the new update. I haven't checked it out yet. Uh, but anyway, we of course have these uh, car stops. Uh, and it took me a little while to figure out how I wanted to put that uh, here. But uh, I think in the end I figured out um, a layer that looks quite all right. Of course, there's still plenty of work to do here. We can still place so many things, lights, sheds, and so on and so on. And after I had done that, then I quickly went over to our taxiway system because uh, while I had been uh, working on the land side, of course, many parts of the airport were being constructed in the meantime. Uh, what you're seeing here will probably all be changed again because as 
Um, uh, as you know, if you watched the uh, first episode of this new season, um, obviously this is recorded before the latest update, which introduces widebody aircraft. And that means I'm still not taking that into account here, but obviously um, the widebody aircraft will be coming to this airport now after the update. So there are a few things here we need to change at a later stage. We will be changing many of the uh, taxiways between the terminals and the runway system, and the runway system will also be changed. Um, but obviously I didn't know that at the time yet um, so I was still working and uh, thinking I was doing a, a good job I think I was doing a good job but obviously um, it turned out that it was quite pointless in the end but nonetheless um, <laughs> I was having fun building it and I'm also having fun uh, now working on the new update. Uh, I'm really trying to push out these episodes as fast as possible so we can get to the gameplay with the um, wide body update and uh, we will arrive there fairly shortly. I think in three, maximum four episodes we will arrive there and then we will see the wide body aircraft. But for now I have very much done everything I wanted to do in this episode. We've been working on the small satellite terminals, we've been working on the Landsat and fixing a little bit here and there at the taxiway system. And of course, as OGs, you also know that we are currently uploading daily here throughout the entire Christmas period. That's, of course, my little Christmas present for you guys. That also means that I'm trying to get uh, these episodes of Airport CEO a little bit faster. Normally, we have an upload schedule that is once a week, every Sunday with Airport CEO. But I'm trying to get that up to two episodes a week. So probably like Thursday, Sunday. But you will probably see it throughout um, the week. And I will, of course, always announce on... Um, the community tab and of course also on Instagram what I am up to. Now with that I'd like to say thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you have enjoyed the video then don't forget to smash the like button that really helps us out. If you're new around here want to hit subscribe that would be absolutely awesome and with that I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.